At some point we gotta talk, I'd rather save it for later I feel like I need another, I'm afraid Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to properly install your ZZP 1.0 PCM. Let's get started. You're going to need to start by removing your stock airbox, unless you have a modified one with an easy access PCM at the bottom. You're going to need a 7mm socket. Once you have those loosened off, they should just pop right out. A little bit of effort. Blue goes on top, white goes on the bottom. And that should just slide right out. The process is the exact same to put back in. A little more tricky to get everything lined up. Like I mentioned earlier, White goes on the bottom, blue goes on the top. Make sure you have the orange gasket in there. It's still on either your PCM or put it onto the new one, or make sure it's tucked in there. Cause if you don't have that and water gets in it, it'll just wreck it. Tighten it back on with your seven millimeter socket. It's the same process to get back on as taking it off, just opposite. Alright, so it started fine with no issues, it just takes just a few extra cranks to get it going with the new PCM. Um, one of the things you're going to definitely have to do after the PCM, which I'm actually going to show you in this video as well, is changing the thermostat. So changing your stock one to a 180 degrees thermostat will really get more out of this PCM. You can buy the 180 thermostats at plenty of different stores, but you can also get them off of ZZP website. Here's my new 180 degrees thermostat and my new thermostat gasket. Don't reuse the old one, just get a new one. They're only like a dollar. Start installing your thermostat. You're gonna need to siphon out some coolant so that it doesn't leak out of the top when you put it in. You just need to pop your rad cap off so that when you take out your thermostat, the coolant doesn't leak out. So to siphon anything out, you gotta make sure that what you're siphoning, so the coolant, is higher than what you're pouring it into, so that it goes down. So gravity kind of pulls it through. You could also use like a turkey baster, but this will do just fine. So I'm gonna just stick that in there, put this in here, and squeeze to make sure that coolant's going through. And then once it goes through, it'll just do it by itself. You might just want to hold it. All right, well that's still siphoning. I'm gonna show you. You need a 10 millimeter socket to take off this coupling for the thermostat. That one tucked in back there. It's gonna be a little bit trickier to get off, but you put it on there, so you'll probably take it off somehow. All right, when that's about halfway, See in there or not? No, it's about halfway siphon. You can give that a squeeze. You should hear just a little bit. Then that means you're pretty much good to go and you just gotta take that off. Oh, the bolts are just getting a little bit stuck on, so we're just using an impact driver to get those off. Alright, so we've got the bolts out now, so that should just come straight off. I want to set that up somewhere, maybe a little high so you don't have any coolant leaking out. And then this should just come out after you take the gasket off. Since we're not using this thermostat again, I'm just going to fry it out with a screwdriver. Make sure nothing drops in there, any extra pieces of your gasket or any dirt. 
All right, this is why you buy your new gasket. This one got ripped up a bit. This one's all good to go. It's a new thermostat. Anyways, we had a bit of an issue. We had to go and get a different thermostat. We got another stock thermostat instead of our 180 degrees thermostat, which is what you're supposed to have with the new PTS. When you're reinstalling, make sure that you get the outer rim of your thermostat into this little like line. There's a line around the whole gasket for that to fit into. You have to put that on to put it back in. This is it all done and in the gasket. All you do now is just pop it back in there, not crooked, like that. All you have left to do is to reinstall your rad hose and put the extra coolant back in. All right, when you're reinstalling it, you're gonna let you, oh, shoot. Okay, we've got the coolant recirculated back through the engine. You gotta make sure that it's running when you do that. 